ISGOT sets out a number of minimum requirements to ensure hot work is carried out safely on tankers. This includes ensuring that hot work outside of the designated spaces only ever takes place during a ballast voyage, when the tanks and spaces surrounding the hot work area must be thoroughly cleaned and gas-freed with hydrocarbon vapour reduced to not more than 1% LFL within a minimum radius of the work area. Tanks within 30 metres of where the work is to be carried out should be gas-freed. All non-gas-free cargo tanks should be purged and maintained at not more than 2% volume hydrocarbons. Cargo and inert gas distribution pipelines to the cargo tank containing slops must be isolated from the rest of the cargo tanks. This provides a gas-free barrier around the tanks where the work is being performed. When hot work is on top of cargo tanks, within 500 mm of the deck, the tank beneath and the adjacent cargo tanks need to be water washed and gas freed to the required hot work standard. Specific recommendations and limitations on where hot work can take place can be found in ISCOT. For repairs inside the bunker tank, it must be cleaned and gas freed, with hot work and enclosed space permits in place. Heating coils must be flushed or blown through with steam and the atmosphere must be tested as gas-free before any hot work. The third section of the hot work permit deals with validation and authorization. Each vessel has procedures that must be followed before work is authorized and started. Once the risk assessment has taken place and the competent person is satisfied that work is safe to start, they must seek permission from the authorized person. This will be the master or chief engineer, but company procedures may require additional authority from a superintendent or other authorized person in the office. If the vessel is in port, other agencies may also need to be approached. A period of validity will be added to the permit, determined by the risk assessment and the company SMS. The period of validity is always short and the work must not continue outside the time stated. If they give their consent for work to commence, the authorized person will sign the permit and the competent person is then able to accept responsibility for the operation. Immediately before hot work is started, the authorized person should examine the area where it is to be undertaken. They must ensure the firefighting equipment in place is adequate and meets the requirements identified. Gas tests must show less than 1% LFL and that the space is otherwise gas-free. The authorized person will establish the frequency of atmosphere monitoring and that the area is continuously monitored. Work must follow the time stated on the permit, the approved procedures, and any considerations specific to a vessel's location. However, risk assessments should not stop when the permit has been authorized. It is essential to monitor potential risks throughout the operation. If conditions change, the job should stop until these are restored or another risk assessment is carried out and a new permit is issued. If the atmosphere changes so that it is outside permissible limits, hot work must stop and not be restarted until all safety precautions have been rechecked and a new permit has been issued.